What's going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix your pulsing on and off Dyson vacuum. Uh, there's only one real reason why your Dyson vacuum would pulsate like that on and off. It's because there's a restriction either in the connecting pipe here or the sucking pipe or the actual filter itself is restrictive. So let's check it out real quick here. So the first thing you wanna do, go ahead and do it now while you start cleaning the rest of this out because uh, it's gonna take some time to dry. But go ahead and take the air filter out and it's at the very top. Just go ahead and pull up on it. And then it actually has a faucet head on it, or a little picture of it. So go ahead and run this under the faucet and get it real clean. And before you actually put this back in, you wanna go ahead and dry this. So let's go ahead and do that and get this real clean and let that, that way this is drying when we're continuing on to see if there's any blockage on this. The next thing is go ahead and remove this hose connector by pushing the button here. And then go ahead and remove all the, the what's left in here uh, by pulling down this trigger right here, the red trigger. I already did that, so go ahead and do that underneath a, or in a trash can. So go ahead and release that. And then to release this even further, you go further down, and as you can see, whoops, there you go. I already have a little debris coming out. Whoops. So it looks like it was clogged up there. Um, go ahead and keep going down. a little bit of there we go so it looked like it was clogged in this area right here all this crap was all up in there um, so it should we're gonna go ahead and clean this out real good and let it dry um, and then we're also gonna clean we're not gonna run water on this but we're gonna go ahead and clean it the best we can uh, that may remove I'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and clean this the best we can this looks like a little, another filter of some sort and then we're gonna go ahead and put it back together um, once it's all dry and see if it fixes the issue. I didn't really clean this up at all, but it's not clogged up or anything like that. I really think it's, this was either clogged up or the filter was dirty. So how do you get this thing back on is you have a little notch here that it hooks up into. There's a little notch right there. I don't know if you can see it. So that has to go in there. So you slide this on, kind of angled. So it goes in that notch and then it'll click. There you go, it's on there now. So let's get the filter back in. Just pushes in and then the hose. There we go. Let's test it out. So that's how you fix the pulsating issue on the handheld V6 Dyson. Um, this will also work with the actual vacuum that's battery operated. It looks exactly like this, only on this. It has the shaft for the actual vacuum on the carpet. Um, this is constructed pretty much the same way. So those two things are what I would look for to fix that pulsating issue. Um, I will say that Getting this uh, canister on and off is kind of a, a little bit tricky, but in all reality, once you get fiddling with it, it will go on and you'll be back in business. Other than that, if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe for more videos down the road. If you like the video and it helped you in some way, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll see you next time.